Shalom, 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 family. This is Yael Ezra Ben Levi, aka Tommy Kurtad. And I want to make this quick video that I want you to join me and follow along with the um, scriptures that um, I go over at this time. Um, before we get started, first of all, I want to bless our great King, Yahuwah, shall we rule? The Holy One of Israel, the God of our forefathers, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. And to him and him alone is all, all honor, blessings, worship, um, adoration, exaltation due. So I will be coming out of Exodus chapter 10, verse 1. And then we're going to go to Genesis chapter 26 and verse 5. I will be coming from... I'll be reading out of the King James, the um, JPS, and out of the Art Scroll to Knock. One day, hopefully, I'll be coming to you straight from out of the Hebrew. That is my goal to learn the holy language of our um, ancestors. So that is coming. That's a work in pro um, progress. So anyway, let's, let us get started. I will be coming out of the King James first. Exodus chapter 10, verse 1. Hallelujah. And the Lord said unto Moses, Go in unto Pharaoh, for I have hardened his heart and the heart of his servants, that I might show thee my signs before him, and that thou mayest tell in the ears of thy son and of thy son's sons, what things I have wrought in Egypt, and my signs which I have done among them, that ye may know how that I am the Lord. And now allow me to read it again, and let me store the name of the Creator. This is the pronunciation I use. You may not use this pronunciation, but I am talking about the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Hallelujah. And Yehovah said unto Moses, Go in unto Pharaoh, for I have hardened his heart and the heart of his servants, that I might show thee, that I may show thee signs on uh, these signs before him. Think of, and that thou mayest tell in the ears of thy sons and thy sons' sons what things I have wrought in Egypt, and my signs which I have done among them, that ye may know how. That I am Yahuwah. Hallelujah. Now allow me to read that coming out of the um, two other translations. Then this is the JPS. Then Yahuwah said to uh, Moses, Go to Pharaoh, for I have hardened his heart and the heart of his um, quarters, in order that I may display my signs among them, and that you may recount in the hearing of your sons and of your sons' sons how I made a mockery of the Egyptians and how I displayed my signs among them in order that you may know that I am Yehovah. Hallelujah. Now coming out of the art scroll, the last one. Hashem said, um, Yehovah said unto Moshe, here it says Hashem, but Yehovah said unto Moshe, come to Pharaoh, for I have made his heart and the heart of his servants stubborn so that I can put these signs of mine in his midst, and so that ye may relate in the ears of your sons and your sons' sons that I made a mockery of Egypt, and my signs that I placed among them, that ye may know that I am Yehovah. Hallelujah. Now, that we, we see, without a shadow of a doubt, that it was Yah that called that assigned, that commissioned our teacher, Moshe, to go unto Pharaoh or to come unto Pharaoh and to be his um, his vehicle or his, his mode of um, transportation in doing his signs and wonders in Egypt. Moses did not do the signs and wonders. It was done by Yah. Moses, you could say, was just the front man or the representation that God used. 
but it was Yah Almighty that did these things. We need to make that perfectly clear because we have to get away from man worship. Yah can raise up a someone to represent him, but we could never forget that it is Yah who is the Redeemer. It is Yah who is the healer. It is Yah who is the restorer. We can never forget that it is Yah who is El. He is the Elohim of our forefather. He is the mighty one. He is the power, the source. He is everything. Hallelujah. But these are some um, something that I jotted down that I just wanted to share that I think is very important that we understand as a people. Um, the word Bo, and that's the name of the Torah portion for um, chapter 10 out of um, Exodus, out of um, Shemot, is Bo. And based off whatever translation I read, they render that word two different ways. Some people say it means to go. Um, some say come. And I want to give a quick shout out to my um, my dear brother, Zion X, um, Abdiel Ben Levy, on the um, outstanding Torah portion teaching that he shared um, on Facebook. And showing the, the the deeper meaning of the word go by using the Hebrew letters. It was very significant and powerful. Um, so you need to go back, either go to his wall or my wall where I have it posted and look, look back at that um, Torah portion um, lesson that he did on both. But we have to understand when we see the word bo, like I said, it, it means to come or to go. But we need to understand as a people. If we, before we can go for God, a lot of people want to say they're called to do something and, and they're ready to go out and do something. But before we can go for Yah, we must first come to Yah. We must come to Him and go with Him in the assignment that he is sending us to do. And one thing we must understand, whenever we come to Yah, whenever we come to the Creator, his, um, his Torah is included. We have to embrace his Torah as well. There's no way we could come to Yah without embracing his instructions as well. And I wanna um, read from the book of Genesis, chapter 26 and verse 5. Genesis 26 and verse 5. I just wanted to show you this. A lot of people talk about they want to be like Father Abraham or have the faith of Abraham. This is what the faith of Abraham consists of. Um, Genesis chapter 26 or a bare sheet chapter 26 and verse 5 coming out of the King James Version. Because that Abraham obeyed my voice, kept my charge, my commandments, my statutes, and my laws. So if you're talking about you have the faith of Abraham, but you are excluding keeping the laws, the statutes, and the commandments of Yah, you do not have, or neither are you operating in the faith of Abraham. So that's just something we need to understand. When Yah raised up Abraham and told him to leave his father's house and the land and go somewhere where he would show him, that was the Torah. That was instructions that he gave him. And we see that the, the faith of Abraham was made known because he obeyed the instructions. So there's no way you could come to Yah without also including his Torah. So for us as a people who are returning to Yah as our Father, as our King, as our God, as our Savior, as our Redeemer, we have to understand that return includes embracing His Torah. So before we can vote toward excitement, we must first vote come to and with Yah 
which includes embracing his Torah. And that is all I wanted to share at this time, family. Shalom, love, and blessings. Till next time, this is Jael, Ezra Ben Levy, a.k.a. Tommy Kurtov. Shalom, love, and blessings.